Hey, what's up y'all? Hope y'all having a great day. Today I'm going to be showing y'all um, how I get my hair retwisted. Um, I'm going to be going to my favorite natural hairstylist, Ebony, Ebony Roots. I'm going to link her down below and she's going to be retwisting my hair. I have not had my hair retwisted in like four months, literally since quarantine because of course everything's been shut down and you know, we've all been indoors. So like this is literally four months of growth. So we're going to get them nice and tightened up. Um, I will see you guys when I get there. Hey guys, so I'm here with Ebony. I'm so excited. Ebony, come here and say what's up. <laughs> this is Ebony. She's about to do my hair. About to retwist it so I can come back to life looking like a real goddess, right? <laughs> Anyways, Ebony, um, yeah, she's about to start me up. So let me go ahead and put this down and sit down and then set it up so y'all can see what magic sh she oh my goodness. does. <laughs> yes. There we go. Amen. <laughs> A to the man. <laughs> we got this. I'm so excited to start. Whew. Girl. I feel like how guys have been feeling without a haircut. <laughs> oh, girl. Right? <laughs> Me too, girl. You should see my <laughs> yours. Oh my god, yes! They need to be wow, too. I'm struggling too, y'all. I'm struggling. <laughs> All struggling. excitement is on a hundred like how guys feel right now getting their haircuts that's exactly how I feel right now. I'm feeling myself like I know it looks good I can't see it yet but I know I know it is I did a video of my two year process, permanent locks. Oh, and I got, nice. yeah, yeah. And, um, you know, I just kind of wanted to give everybody like a feel of my journey with these because I almost felt like I was one of the only people with this and doing this kind of um, style permanently instead of just like, you know, having it, rocking it for six months or whatever and taking it out. But people were so interested in knowing more and knowing how it's done, the process, like, starting and all that extra stuff so i wanted to ask you if you can just give everybody your two cents well um goddess locks is a style that was created a few years ago and a goddess lock is just a, basically a permanent lock extension with human hair mm -hmm. and what makes it um a goddess lock is just that it's a human hair lock now typically when the the style is worn most people don't want permanent locks right they just wear the style because it's trendy but you have the option when you get this style to keep it permanently you know it's not a synthetic hair mm -hmm. traditionally like faux locks would be done with a synthetic like marley hair right or silk hair or thread oh. yarn but um, with this style created um, with like more wave and with the natural hair, 
it just definitely blends in with your natural hair really flawlessly and it ages so beautifully over time. Right. So, um, so when we first started doing this style, we were like suggesting to our clients that they wore this style for only no longer than four to six months because if you're just locking your natural hair, mm -hmm. like myself, it takes anywhere from um, six months to a year and a half to permanently lock your hair. So mm -hmm. with the um, cost of a style like this, you know, people want to get the longest wear out of it. So oh, yeah. we have to definitely put a limit to it. But if you decide during the process you don't want to take them out, you keep the permanent locks and it's right. just a beautiful style. Um, these human hair locks, um, they they just get really better with time and right. they're really light mm -hmm. and um, very gentle to the hair so it makes it look very natural. And, um, Cut. <laughs> Just had to choose today when we film it. Yeah. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, I love these goddess locks because we're yes. goddesses. We're all goddesses, and yeah, these locks right here just enhance the goddess in us. Well, that that sounded really good. That's, that's <laughs> that was a dumb. that's a commercial. Seriously, <laughs> I love it. I'm like, so glad and you just wear them so beautifully. I just love to see it. Every time I see you, I'm like, yes, Koi. Yes. yes. Beautiful. You did that. You did that. Seriously. My muse, look at you, beauty. Thank you. I love it. I love it so much. I get so many compliments everywhere I go. Your locks are so beautiful. I love them. I'm like, thank you so much. Oh my, when I'm working out, like I get girls just walking up to me like, girl, your locks. Oh. They call it the crown. Yeah. Because <laughs> I always have them up. I always have them up, like in a ne nice, messy bun. Well, so, I'm yo. so happy to hear that um, because this is a style that you can wear permanently, and mm -hmm. you're just like a beautiful example of Thank like you. how a person could wear this style and right. keep it for a long time, and it yeah. really be worth. You know, the yeah. investment. It does. It is worth the investment to get them put in. Yeah. But and since I've been like on my spiritual like development, spiritual growth, like peace is so important to me and having my hair just not being something that is a heartache because you know how it is with our hair, you know, like I've gone from weaves, I've gone from braids, I've gone from right. wigs and it's all good. I love, please don't get me wrong people, I love all of that. It's, it's beautiful, it's, it's a great way to express yourself and just have, you know, have that right flexibility. But it's something about just having locks and right. being able to just get up your oh, hair just so already just permanently done. done like, right. No matter what you do, your hair is already done. Right. Even when it's not done. Exactly. Like, it's done. Exactly. And I feel like sometimes like my hair will be grown out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like now I need my hair done so bad. Like in recent times, just even oh, going, I get so many compliments on my hair, and I'm like, oh my gosh, right? What are you talking about, about these roots look crazy. crazy. Yeah, so I, I know. just love the fact that, like, even when I'm not trying to do nothing, right, it's already done, it's and already complete. right, and like, I feel like I've grown my hair the longest I've ever been able to grow my hair, and you it know, looks good. just because it's. I'm not doing anything to it. But also as a hairstylist, I wore every hairstyle from weaves, like right. long to my butt, yeah. short 27 pieces, just like it all. Like, mm -hmm. And this has just that. been the most like yeah. easiest style right. for me. Because somebody had asked if I'm going to keep, um, if I'm going to cut these off after my locks start to grow out. And I kind of contemplated like, okay, I probably will start to like shorten them until my hair is grown. But I love adding the color. I, I don't know if I ever want to really dye my hair, um, mm -hmm. you know, because that does damage it. So I think I'll be adding this as the as the hair, you know, the colored hair that way. Yeah. And like that's a beautiful thing about this um, human hair lock extension mm -hmm. is because 
Um, you have the flexibility to use whatever color you want. And right. for some people, you know, lock -in, the lock-in journey is a journey in itself. Right. So it's not for everyone. And it is right. for everyone. It right. really is. Mm -hmm. But some people want to get there quicker. So right. this human hair lock extension allows people to, you know, take the weight away. Like right. the, the longest they sit here is yeah. like during the actual process. But right. they already have a lock that's created. So they don't have to go through the budding stage and everything. They have a lock that's... Right groomed and neat and whatever color you want without permanently damaging your hair you can have done with this goddess or human hair lock extension style yeah. because it's a human hair mm -hmm. it's flawless you don't have right. to worry about it looking frizzy or right like shiny oh, or yes. just looking heavy right and um it feels good on your head if you're thinking about something that you're going to be wearing in your hair for months at a time mm -hmm. Synthetic tends to dehydrate the hair, mm -hmm. so oh, yeah. just because it's not real. So, um, if you're going to be doing something like a faux lock, I would suggest doing it with human hair because it gives you longevity and it doesn't damage your hair during the process. Not that synthetic faux locks damage your hair; it's just that you have to do extra additional things to like seal in moisture into your hair. But mm -hmm. this particular human hair lock is just simple mm -hmm. and elegant right. and you could be either kind of way you can dress it up or right. dress it down mm -hmm. and there you go there we so, go yeah and you're right koi we can definitely shorten the locks over yeah. time yeah even if you decided you wanted to even go a different color like we could incorporate different colors into your locks as well i love it that it doesn't have to permanently disturbed Dis your curls yeah I, mean. I really prayed for this like I put it on my vision board I had like I had like a pretty lady with golden hair and I was just like God please just give me something that I said it on my video too please just give me something that's easy quick beautiful elegant you know and still looks very nice I didn't know what it was gonna be honestly until boom I saw I saw Megan good and the goddess locks and I was like oh my gosh I want those and then one thing led to another and another and another and boom here we are two two years later yeah you wake up and you look in I woke up like this hey I woke up like this flawless oops and I also feel like now is a time like if ever a time was to just like express yourself like freely through your hair like yeah there's always been such like a negative stigma like yeah. associated with like people locking their hair for whatever like technique they use you know you have like your palm roll right. or your interlock which i prefer to use right. method of, of locking hair or you have your free forming locks but there's always been so many politics around like just locking the hair itself and it's like dirty or just being like put in this box of like ill locks right yeah if there was ever a time like to really like be able to lock your hair and not really have to worry about like if it's okay i feel like now is the time now like, is right to just really totally like embrace like what we have i feel like you know for a long time we were like conditioned mm -hmm. to feel like doing our hair a certain way was yeah. beautiful yeah so, I love like how that my locks can be a little frizzy and yeah. you know yeah. and not uh, and imperfect but right. still so perfect like, right and like I make the style beautiful because yeah. I'm beautiful yes not yes just, like me having my that. hair a certain way yeah. makes me look beautiful oh. now like my, your hair is not supposed to look like this it's supposed to look like this in order to be accepted or beautiful but right. I just love the like fact that locks just gives you the freedom to just be who you are yes. like, however it is that you are and yes, your frizzy hair is beautiful like yes. your groom locks are beautiful yes. like your free forming locks are beautiful like your palm roll method like whatever method or journey you take to get there is your journey but yeah like, it's just beautiful to be able to go there like and it's not for everybody it is definitely time for this that we doing now so right with locks and yeah like protective styles you definitely yes. still have to 
um, take the time to reinforce the hair back to the scalp and take care of it so right. you don't cause traction alopecia or you know damage to your client's hair or your hair itself so right. yeah this is the perfect time even though I know it's been so way overdue right but in light of the times this is perfect you mm -hmm. know every time is always the right time you know right for us to get together <laughs> yes it's always the right time yeah so. that's right that's right well I just want to tell you I appreciate you so much like you've taught me so much in this process and even like just looking back when we started and your recommendation recommendations when I was starting to you know be interested in going permanent like let's start with short because I remember we battled like I wanted them long when we first started I was like I want them long and you're like hey you, you might want to try you know having them short because they're going to grow and I was like okay. yeah I, well that's one of the conversations I like to have in consultation when right. you know we're consulting whether it's like human hair lock extensions or even, extend, I mean, locks on your own natural hair. You right. want to think about the future. Right. You know, if it's permanent. So, yeah. Yeah. a lot of times, people don't think about the future with locks. And yeah. you always want to create, like, your base to withstand the weight of the locks over time. Right. Typically, like, when you start your locks, they're small and they go through this budding process. And as they get longer, they get heavier, as you can attest to, they're heavier. Yeah, now. they you're are. like, yeah. wow, I'm glad I listened. Right. But I know like when you're not used to wearing locks or you know nothing really about it, yeah. you see these beautiful images of like these viral videos of these locks going around. And you're like, oh, I want to look just like that. Mm -hmm. But you can't even fathom like, right. the process of like how to make it a reality. Exactly. So, like during consultation... Like, I always just like to let clients know, like, oh, like, your hair is going to have to withstand this weight. So, yeah. like, whatever we do now, you got to think about 10 years from now. So right. So that, like, as your hair grows, because your locks are going to swell, they're going to bud, they're just going to attract energy. Right. You know, however many yes. years you have them, it's an energy, it's a, it's a weight to them. But it doesn't necessarily be bad, but too much weight on a small base can right. cause breakage. And mm -hmm, yeah. then you start seeing like locks married together. And like that's a whole nother story. Right, that is, yeah. I'll yeah. just say like the the beautiful thing about like, you know, the style is just, you know, reinforcing it back to your scalp. And then you can go uh mm -hmm eight to ten weeks without um, restyling and that in itself puts like less tension on your hairline so it allows your hair to grow because the lock is crocheted to your scalp right so it takes about six to eight weeks eight to ten weeks depending on the client and how their hair growth cycle is and the, the texture that determines how often they get their locks retightened but you know, for myself, like, I try to, like, lay off of the retightening so much so that, yeah. you know, I have edges. Cause yeah. I want to have edges. You, yeah, so. we, we all want them edges now. Okay. <laughs> we all want our edges, for sure. That's one of the things that I think also was, was big for me is making sure that, okay, yeah, I definitely want my, want to keep my edges, and I know this kind of protective hairstyle. Like I, I kind of thought of like the braids kind of thing, you know, where oh man, if they're pulling too much, I don't want my edges to just get ripped off. But since I've had this, and me, of course, using my hair products, um, that my edges are really nice and healthy, and the way you've been really taking care of them by not pulling so hard or just like letting them breathe, I think that's done a lot of good yes, for them. Definitely. And having locks too, like you said, like you don't have to always have them tightened. Like you can just let them free. Like a lot of times I don't even use edge control, honestly, because I love the natural look. So I let my edges look like my locks, yeah. you know, with without having to like slick them down. And they look so good. And that's good for your hair because you're not putting stress on there. Right. And you it's know. just tension free. Right. Thank you so much for shooting this with me. As I really... Um, I really wanted to do this for everybody so y'all can see how, you know, what I do when I come over here every eight weeks usually before quarantine. But, um, yeah, I just wanted you guys to see how I get my hair done and I'm, I'm going to show you the finished 
product. Any questions y'all have, please make sure you put them in the comment box and um, give this video a thumbs up if you're getting value from it. That would be really appreciated. I love to see when you guys like and comment. You already know I always comment back. Um, so please don't hesitate. Follow me on social media too. Um, do not forget I am Koi Official. Follow Ebony too. I'll have her link below. It's Ebony Roots Hair, right? Yes, ma'am. Ebony Roots Hair on Instagram. Please follow her. Oh, thank so. you. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. I appreciate you, honestly. Like, we've been we've been going strong. We've been yes. really going strong, and I'm happy. I love I love this process. I love it so much, and I'm just happy that you're around. Cause yes, you do travel a lot. I love it. I love to see you going yes, to different countries and yes. blessing our goddesses around the world. Yes, yes. It's um, definitely been a beautiful journey. Yeah. Yeah, so I really do appreciate you for that. Your hands are gold. Thank you. Thank Your you. being is gold already. <laughs> see, this is why I love Koi. I love her every time. She gasses me up. She has hype man. Yes. You know, we have to be that. I feel that, you know, like that's, I love when people do that for me and I just know how good it feels that I want everybody to feel the same way. Like all my loving sisters and, yes. you know, I just want y'all to feel that because we are that, you know, we really genuinely are that. So, and I feel like that's what, because I love Beyonce, you know, we already yes. love Beyonce. Beyonce. <laughs> and that's what she does. Like she just, and through her music, just through her whole being, she just makes us feel so like we are enough like we are right and that right there that's why she's my favorite yeah i love her for that and i just so beautiful yes her being her soul her talent and her appreciation for us right just the beauty of just like yeah the black person yes yes, yes. i love that and i just want to shine that so much to everyone okay now we are all done this is the finished product of the interlocking method that i use to Create Koi's human hair locks extensions, or as she likes to call them, goddess locks. Back like I never left, back like I never left. Hey! <laughs> Hey guys, so I just got done getting my hair done and I feel so, so amazing. Um, so this is, this is a finished product. I know Ebony just showed you guys the back and everything and how it looks, but I hope you guys really enjoyed the video and got some information, you know, got some questions answered that you may have had. And um, if you have any more questions, please don't hesitate to hit her up on her social media at Ebony Roots Hair. I will link it, link it below. While you're doing that, go ahead and follow me on Instagram as well. I'm sorry, I'm sitting outside and there's a whole bunch of cars driving around. Wanna drive around when I'm recording. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways, um, I just wanted to um, wrap the video up and let you guys know that um, I am very pleased and happy with my finished product and um, it feels great. Um, I'm not in pain or anything like that. I feel really, really good. Um, I actually had washed my hair yesterday and put my oils on there um, so that today she just, you know, she just did the job so she didn't have to wash it but usually she does wash it if you want it washed as well and conditions it and everything but I already did all of that so I didn't have to have her do all of that anyways that was weird do all of that all of it. <laughs> okay so um yeah, so guys, follow her. Um, if you have any more questions for her, technical ones um, about the goddess locks, please don't hesitate to, to DM her or just write to her. Um, she will be glad to answer all your questions. And as for me, anything that you have, please write it in the comments below and I will respond back as soon as I can. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I surely did. And um, remember that you are beautiful just the way you are. And I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.